Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only and for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel I'd like to provide you some stock analysis and also a short 5 minute trading lesson at the end, so please stay tuned. Okay, so I'd like to share with you a number of stocks now to put on your watch list for Monday. I think each one of these stocks has been in fact affected by the market correction. What that means is gives uh, investors a good opportunity to buy in at a good price uh, with also the potential of a good reward going forward in 2021. So the first stock I'd like to uh, add on your watch list is Tiximil SENS Sensionic. So this is a stock that I have carried out a due diligence video for so please refer back to that previously and this is the company that has the continuous glucose monitoring system which has groundbreaking technology in terms of uh, users being able to have an app uh, and this system where it monitors the glucose uh, without the need for needles so certainly uh, a, a great groundbreaking technology and breakthrough for this business they also have uh, european expansion in the pipeline so good number of catalysts coming forward and long term i think they're going to also develop this into uh, a cgm system for the full one year so right now um, I think in terms of a strike price going forward for Monday or any day in the week, I think certainly if you can catch this stock anywhere around $2.70. So if you catch this with a pullback at $2.70, that would be a good entry point. And my target for this uh, for the year would be certainly to uh, break the $5.20, possibly uh, reach a high of $6 this year. Okay, so the second stock I'd like you to add on your watch list is also a stock that I have carried out a detailed due diligence uh, video for. So please refer back to that for detailed analysis and information about Tiximil BNG or BioNano. Again, this is a, a stock that has had a tremendous uh, growth in 2020, well in excess of 1600%. Uh, and it's reached a high of just in excess of $15.57 at one point and that was uh, 15th of February. So it has been affected by the market correction. It, I, it is at a good buy price and I th certainly think if you can catch this uh, stock around about $8.50 that will be an excellent price going forward and in terms of a, my price target for the year I can again, I, I certainly am very confident of this stock reaching an all-time high of at least 16 to 17 dollars by the end of 2021 so tick symbol bngo the next stock that i'm going to share with you is tick symbol alpp alpine for technologies this is a stock that has had a tremendous year in 2021 uh, and with a growth in excess of 7300 uh, percent it had, did reach at one point a high uh, close to nine dollars it has consolidated down quite significantly uh, around the four dollar mark uh, going forward we can see that they're ready very very close to entering the nasdaq they should have um, been there by now in my opinion but i certainly think uh, in march 2021 we will see them uh, making a move towards the nasdaq it possibly could be delayed uh, until april but in terms of the company's proposal it was march 2021 however going forward this company has made some tremendous acquisitions to increase their market share i believe they will continue to do that and i think in terms of an entry price for alpine for technologies tick symbol alpp i think certainly with a pullback if you can catch this at three dollars eighty that will be a very good entry point for new investors uh, anybody else it will be a good opportunity to average down and in terms of the price target for ticker symbol alpp close of 2021 i certainly expect this stock to again breach its all-time high and i and i can see this finishing it close to ten dollars at close of 2021. the next stock i'd like to share with you is ticker symbol aqua metals aqms uh, this is a stock that i have invested in at an average price of four dollars and 17 on a high at one point uh, it reached a price of seven dollars 21 around about the 25th of january so lots of potential there again this stock has been affected by the market correction uh, this uh, stock aqua metals they're involved in the engagement of recycling lead so certainly a, a huge market growth market going forward they're looking at recycling lead, lead acid batteries and looking at the production of lead 
Um, so aqua metals, so the, the market is, is huge. The growth opportuni opportunities are huge. And I think going forward uh, in terms of an entry price for this, I think certainly if you can catch this at $4.20, that would be a tremendous entry point. Anybody holding this stock. So again, be prepared to take profits as this uh, goes up in value. And also in terms of a price target for the end of the year, I also expect this to uh, exceed its high of the year. And I think by price target for the 2021 for this stock uh, is to achieve around a price around $8.50. So the final stock I'd like to bring you for your watch list on Monday is tick symbol OCGN, Ocugen. This is a pharmaceutical stock that I have brought due diligence video for in detail. So please refer back to that for more analysis and detail of this company. I am very bullish on, on this stock. I am holding this stock as well. And going forward, um, I see there are a number of positive catalysts for that. So let's have a look at a little bit more detail of this stock and why I've chosen it for Monday. Okay, so Ocugen is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company focusing on the development and commercialization of therapies, including eye disease. So this is a, a, a catalyst that we saw a breakthrough with this year uh, for Europe, the European market. So there was a breakthrough there and I shared the details of that in the previous video. The other positive catalyst for this stock is they're also working on COVID-19 vaccine, which is also significantly different to the other vaccines so please refer back to the video for that i think there is going to be a distribution deal in the usa for uh, this business in terms of the covid vaccine that is a positive catalyst uh, probably fairly imminently i expect that within the next month uh, with the distribution deal so it's uh, currently also been affected by the market correction on a high this tick symbol did achieve a price of uh, just in excess of $15.86. So it has uh, consolidated down, dated downwards. I think it's in a good buy zone. So certainly good for your watch list. And I think uh, if you can catch this stock anywhere close to $8.70, that would be an excellent entry point. So we'll put this on your watch list with a notification on price entry point of $8.70. Uh, in terms of a price target, subject to implementation of the COVID vaccine uh, in the US and distribution of that, I certainly think once that once we get that positive catalyst, I'm very confident this will also reach an all-time high again this year and possibly achieve uh, a good chance of achieving $20 price target. So tick symbol OCGN. Okay, so today's lesson is looking at risky misconceptions but with a particular focus on penny stocks so first of all a lot of people have in their mind or a belief or understanding that the price cannot fall much lower so sometimes you know we see the price go down five percent eight percent ten percent um fifteen percent and we think that's it it can't go much lower so we in terms of chart analysis this is an area we'll be looking at over the next few weeks so uh, when we look at the charts we have the resistance we have the support and um, we a lot of us will have the idea that well there's the support it can't break the support but with this market correction what we have seen is a lot of companies have broken support and they have gone down so you you have to always expect the unexpected we certainly saw this with um, neo we saw this with tesla the, both of those businesses and stocks did break the support line going to uh, new lows that we didn't expect uh, okay second misconception it's not a big investment what we also have to bear in mind that whatever we put into the stock market and invest in shares this is our hard-earned money we need to try and uh, be careful with this although um, the key advice is always invest money that you're prepared to lose and um, at the end of the day it's still our money it's still our investment and we have to do our best to protect it so always try and use stop losses where you can and always be careful of uh, cashing out in terms of uh, if the if the stock is risky and um, sometimes you have to take a loss so it's not a big investment but we still certainly need to focus on protecting protecting our investments as well and then the final misconception is the downside is smaller compared to a blue chip company so i've come across many many investors who believe it's um 
good to invest in shares that are a cheaper price, lower price, so because it maybe there's a smaller risk, you know, it's cheaper, it's more affordable. So if we compare, let's say, the price of Tesla, you know, in excess of six hundred dollars at one point, so it was eight in excess of eight hundred and eighty dollars. That's an expensive share. So you know, something if we use an example of HCMC, that was a stock that at one point was zero point zero 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 one. Uh, cents. Uh, so that seems cheap when it goes up uh, to 0 0.002 uh, then obviously that's a, 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 an increase of 100%. So uh, what you have to understand as investors is the opposite is also true. So let's say you invest in a, a stock with, with a very low price of 0 0.002. If that goes down to 0 0.001 you've lost 50% of your investment. So although the share price appears to be cheap it does carry much much more risk so that's a misconception so it's not always the case that the, the cheaper the share um, the the less risky it is it's actually the other way around the penny stocks are always more risky okay thank you very much for watching please join me again and stay tuned